How's it going everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Baking World Tour, where we try and make bread from every country in the world. In today's episode, we're making Argentinian beef empanadas. They're little dough pockets filled with spiced beef. You can fry them in oil, which is what I did, but you can also bake them in the oven. And the best part is that you can fill them with whatever you like. Don't like beef? Don't eat meat? Make them vegetarian. Fill them up with some cheese, perhaps. They will be delicious with any filling. So let's get to it and see what we need. For the dough, we'll need some white flour, you can use all-purpose flour, salt, baking powder, some butter, an egg, a bit of vinegar, and a bit of water. For the beef filling, we'll need some ground beef, a bit of onion and garlic, finely chopped, some finely diced pepper, a little bit of tomato paste, and we'll make our own spice mix. I've got some salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, oregano, paprika, and some ground cumin. And that's practically all we need for this recipe. There's only one more thing, if you're gonna deep fry them, of course you'll need some oil. I'm using rapeseed oil, but you can use any oil you like. As for the equipment, we'll need a pot, we'll need a bowl, scales, a dough scraper, something to fish your empanadas out the oil with. I've got this handy slotted metal spoon, and we'll need a rolling pin. We'll start by cooking the filling, because it will need some time to cool down. Get your pot nice and hot on high heat, add the oil, and then add the beef. You only want to spread it around, do not stir it. Stirring the beef will cool down the pot and you'll end up stewing the meat. We want to fry it, we need to get some color on it right now. So simply spread it out so it covers the bottom of the pan and don't touch it for another minute or so. Once it gets some color underneath, you can give it a stir. And if it's chunky like mine is, then you can break it up with a spoon a little bit. Now we're not going to fry it for too long. Just a little bit of color, that'll give us some extra flavor. And now we can add the onion and the garlic and the pepper. Give it a good mix and it will keep cooking this on high heat still for another five minutes. But stir it occasionally so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot. Around five minutes later, we can add the rest of the ingredients, the tomato paste and the spice mix. And again, mix everything up well. But from here on in, we actually want to stew the meat. To really let the flavors mingle, we need to let it cook for another 10 minutes or so. But at the moment it's a bit too dry, so you want to add 100 ml of water. Now turn the heat down to medium and keep cooking it for another 10 minutes. And once the water is almost evaporated, it's ready. You want to keep some moisture in there. You don't want to cook it dry. And this looks pretty good. Nice and moist. Now we can pop it in a bowl, let it cool down completely while we make our dough. I actually made this a day ahead of time. Now look how simple this recipe is. We cooked the filling in one pot, took us no more than 15 minutes, and the dough doesn't contain any yeast. So we don't have to worry about fermentation. So in a large bowl, add the water, salt, baking powder, add the egg and the vinegar. Now give it all a good mix, mainly to dissolve the salt. Now follow that with the soft butter. And now you can add the final ingredient, the flour. After that you can grab your dough scraper and mix this together until there's no more dry flour left. This is quite a low hydration dough, so you might want to start with the scraper and continue on by hand. Now pop the dough out on the table, we can knead it. What I like to do is press it down and forwards with the heel of my right hand and then using the fingers of my left hand I fold the piece of dough under the heel of my right hand and turn it and repeat. We don't want a lot of gluten development in this dough. No more than 3 minutes of kneading will be enough for this. We just want to make it smooth but not stretchy as you can see it tears very easily and that's what we want. Right after mixing we can weigh our dough ball and divide it into 6 equal pieces. These empanadas are of a decent size, they would be enough for two very hungry people. If you want to make more, simply multiply the amount of ingredients in the recipe. After dividing, we need to shape them in the round balls. Take a piece of dough and flatten it, then fold the edge over the middle, going around in a circle until you reach point where it started, and pick it up and pinch the seam together at the bottom. And here's your round dough ball, and now repeat with the rest. They don't have to be perfect. Now get a tray or a plate because we need to wrap them up and pop them in the fridge for around an hour. Right now the dough is quite stiff and will be very difficult to roll it out. We need to let it rest. And the reason why we're resting them in the fridge is because a cold dough is easier to work with. I left them in for an hour, but you could get away with half an hour if you were in a rush. Or you can leave them for longer. But once your dough balls have relaxed, we can do the final shaping. I'm gonna work with these one by one. I think that will be the best way for this kind of recipe. Dip your dough ball in some flour so it's covered on both sides. Press it out with your fingers, then continue on the rolling pin. To make it nice and round, 
I like to roll it and then turn it 90 degrees in between rolls. This way we will stretch it gradually and we'll get a nice uniform shape. You want it to be quite big, as you can see it goes from my wrist to my fingertips almost. Now we can fill it up. Of course, we're making six empanadas, so divide the filling into six. And here's the crucial part. Now watch my hands. I pulled the dough on opposite sides, folded it over and connected it in the middle, pressed it together. And now I'm going to work my way from the middle down to the end. First do one side, nice and neat, and then do the other and try to not trap too much air inside your empanada. And use your fingertips to really press it together. There's no need to be gentle at this point, you want it to stick. And there are different versions to this, you could simply trim the edge and fry it that way, or you could crimp the edge with a fork, or you can do this, which will be by far the best looking version. I'm using the thumb and the index finger of my left hand, and I'm only using the index finger of my right hand. So I'm holding the dough down with my right hand with the index finger. And using my left hand, I pull the dough and fold it over. After each fold, I've moved the index finger of my right hand and hold the dough down while I'm folding the following piece. If you don't hold it down, you're not going to get these distinct lines. Those lines are created by actually folding the dough over the finger. And there you have it. Looks beautiful, right? And if my instructions didn't make sense, just watch the video and follow my hands. All we need to do now is drop these in some hot oil. 180 degrees Celsius, which is 360 Fahrenheit. I'm going to fry two at a time. You don't want to overcrowd the pan because the empanada is going to bring the oil temperature down. They'll take around five minutes. And you want to flip them about every minute or so and cook them until they're nicely golden brown all over. And that's how easy it is to make an empanada. I know these are popular all over South America, but because I'm doing the baking world tour in alphabetical order, of course, Argentina was first in line. You want to drain them off on some kitchen paper or on a rack. And that's a beautiful little empanada. What do you think of it? Have you tried empanadas? What filling is your favorite? Let me know down in comments. And if you have any questions or suggestions, also let me know. And check out some more Baking World Tour recipes. And if you love making bread, click that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.